In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we're going to show you how to use a LUT as a type of transition. Please look at the following example, and then we'll show you a bit about how we created this. First thing I'm going to do is go into my media room where I have a video clip. I'll take and drag and drop that on track number one. Now I'm going to take the same clip and drag and drop it on track number two. Now I'm going to apply a different LUT to each of these. We actually could apply a LUT to only one, but I'd like to show you the greater contrast by different LUTs in each track. To apply a LUT, I need to go to the Effect Room. I can click on the FX on the left side or press the F4 key. And then I need to go to my category called LUTs, Color LUT. And now I'm, I want a subcategory. To get to subcategories, you need to click on the little blue arrow on the left side of the panel. And here I have my subsets. I'm going to look at Landscape HDR. That gives me only those particular LUTs. I'm going to minimize that selector again. And now instead of the, the thumbnails, I want some details because I know the name of the ones I want to use. I'll click on Details View at the very top. And on the top one, let's use Cold 5. I'll click on Cold 5 and we see a preview here. I'll drag and drop and layer it right on top of track number one. On the second one, I would like to use Warm 2, so I'm going to click on that. I'll see a preview. I'll drag and drop that on track number 2. And then I'll, I can go back to the, my normal display here of the media room. Now what we see, obviously, is because of the default tracking order, I only see track number 2. So I need to create a mask on track 2 to see track number 1 behind it. So to do that, I highlight track 2, then I click on the Tools button above the timeline and choose Mask Designer from the drop-down. That gets me into my Mask Designer screen. I'm going to select my largest mask, this rectangular one here on the right near the very top. And you notice immediately it creates a mask that's not quite full screen where I see the the unmasked areas on the left and on the right. So I'm, I'm going to make the mask full screen to start with. So we'll just drag the left and right down. And when you hit the edge, it will turn pink. And now I have an entire mask, which basically doesn't do anything. But what I'd like to do in this case is I'd like the mask to be stable just for a little bit and then to slide off the screen. So I'm going to start by going above the timeline into my timecode values, clicking on the second line and choosing 2, type in the number 2 and the enter key. That moves my playhead to 2 seconds in. I'm going to set a position keyframe. So in the first 2 seconds my mask will not move. Then I want to go in about 7 seconds from the beginning, which would be a total of 9, so I'll type in number 9 and press enter. So I'm in 9 seconds total. I'm going to set another position keyframe. But now on this 9 second area, I'm going to move the mask all the way off the screen. And so now my mask will move and I will expose it from one LUT setting to the other. So I'm going to click on OK. And now if we play our particular video clip so far, it's frozen there for two seconds, and then we find the brownish mask being replaced by the greenish mask. And so it changes over time uh, in type, like a bit like a transition. And then the next thing I want to do is I'm going to actually add some titles I created before. I'm going to uncheck the video on this particular section, and now you'll see a little bit more like what we had in our sample. We'll play it this way. We start with from fall, and then it goes into to the spring. And so you actually have the single shot, but it looks like you're covering two seasons of the year in this particular case because we're just using masking 
in conjunction with LUTs to create a different look and feel with the color grading that happens when you use a LUT. We hope you found this useful. <music>